Hey everyone, it's Melanie here from Red House Scents and I have a K's Scented Melts haul to share with you today. So um, I'm located in Canada and Kay's is in the States, um, but it's super easy to get it shipped to Canada. She does that. If you're interested, if you're Canadian and you're interested in doing that, you just have to email her and let her know. And then she'll do like, she'll check the price and how much it's going to be. And she'll do the whole thing for you. You can't on the website, you can't do it yourself. So just a note, if you're like, wait, I want to order that too. You can, you just have to email her. So, okay, um, I, I love K's because specifically because you can do customs like all the time. So I'm, I made customs, you know, I got like four different like huge custom bags. And then I just went in for like a ton of clams. I'm like, I, I've only ever ordered from K's one time and I, I ordered a reasonable amount, not a ton, just cause it was my first time ordering. So I didn't really like dive into all her scents, you know? So I, I decided to get a bunch of the little clams, six cubes in here and just like dive into a bunch of scents and just see how it goes. The last order that I had from K's, I got great performance, like really great. So um, yeah, I was really happy with the performance and I thought now's the time fall time let me get all my good bakery blends and maybe some Christmas stuff so here we go we're gonna do my my customs first now personally I think I'm like a wax blending genius you know what I mean I have thought about starting a wax business for years like I have thought about just like turning my basement into the wax workshop and just doing a wax business. I never do it, but I've thought about it because I think I'm a great blender. Okay. Now Case is about to tell me if I'm a good blender or not, because I have picked the three scents that I think are going to work well, but I don't tell her the ratios. She does the ratios. So really, you know, she's the genius. They, they are the genius. Um, so, okay. So we're going to go through and I'm going to take credit for how great these are. And if they don't smell good, then I'll be like, well, they didn't blend it good, obviously, <laughs> and put the blame on someone else. Okay, so these are eight ounces. There's a ton of squares in here. They're so great. You can just pop one of these in a warmer. If you have a mini warmer, you can just like take it, cut it in half. This is sugar waffle cone, strawberry pound cake, and whipped cream. I mean, how can you go wrong? An extra dollop of whipped cream on top of your, your sugar waffle cone strawberry pound cake? I mean, it's got to be good. It's amazing. Oh my gosh. Oh, but if you are a strawberry pound cake lover, you have to get it. Look at the scent notes. So I blended sugar waffle cone, strawberry pound cake, and whipped cream. It is amazing. It is whipped creamy. It is, you get the waffle cone, but it's not so intense, you know? Like you're getting that strawberry pound cake with the extra whipped cream and then just like a bit of the waffle cone. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm so thrilled about that. Okay, so that's gonna be a repurchase for me. Okay, the next one that I did, I did roasted pine cones, sugar frosted plum, which I've never tried before, and sugared spruce. So I figured it's gonna be tree, pine coney, but then we'll get like a little plum in there, which is nice around the holidays, right? So let's see how this one is. Oh, that sugar frosted plum is nice. Oh, this is pretty. You are getting the sugared spruce, which has a bit of sweetness and the sugar frosted plum, which has sweetness, but it's like the plum and the tree work perfectly together. And then you get a hint of the rosa pine cones in the background, which gives it a bit more of a earthiness, like a groundedness, cause the other two are kind of sweet. This is so pretty. It's like, it's a nice um, tree scent to transition into tree scents, right? Like it's not thick and heavy. It's kind of like at the beginning of November, if you're just starting to get into your tree smells, this is the type of one you would want to get into, right? You're kind of easing into those heavy tree scents. So yeah, that's Rosa Pine Cones, Sugar Frosted Plum, and Sugared Spruce. Take a look at those scent notes in case you're interested in trying that. Okay, then my next custom is Monkey Bread, Cinnamon Roll, and Funnel Cake. I mean, monkey bread is cinnamon sugar bread. Cinnamon roll is cinnamon sugar bread. And funnel cake is fried cinnamon sugar bread. <laughs> Basically, it's like everything that Mel loves. <laughs> so I'm sure it's gonna be amazing. It's amazing, oh my gosh. It's cinnamon sugar bakery. It's everything. 
it's everything, you know. This is such a Mel smell. Okay, so take a look at those scent notes in case you want to try that custom. And then the last one that I did as a custom is buttercream maple frosting, funnel cake, and pie crust. Imagine pie crust mixed with the funnel cake, which is the deep fried pastry mixed with a buttercream maple frosting. Like, how could this not be amazing? It's amazing. You get the buttercream in the frosting. And the maple's not too sweet. That buttercream maple frosting is not overly sweet or syrupy because, you know, maple can go, can be a bit intense. It's not syrupy or overly done, you know? Oh my gosh, that is so good. And you get the funnel cake and you get the pie crust. Oh, you see, I'm a blending genius. I know that I am. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's a skill that I have. It's a skill that I have. I want to, I got to start a wax business. I always say to myself, I should just start a wax business, but then I never do. Um, okay, so I, uh, those are my customs. Oh, wait, in case you wanted to see the set notes on that. Okay, so those are my customs. The great part that I love about K's is you could just go in and just pick and pick and pick and pick and pick. Like you can just make as many as you want and she'll just pour whatever it is that you want. So yeah, I should have done more, but then I'm like, what if I blend something that's not good? This is a lot of wax to have if it's not good. You know what I mean? So I'm like, let me just stick with what I think is gonna be good. Okay, then I got a ton of clams here. I got a ton. So we'll just run through this. I'll try to speed it up a little bit. So this is Holiday Drive, which is a house blend. It's Fraser Fur, Espresso, and Bake Shop. Oh, yeah, you get the espresso. You get the Fraser Fur. You get a hint of bakery, but not a lot. It's mostly espresso and Fraser Fur. The espresso is sharp. So is the Fraser Fur. Like, yeah, it's sharp but not in a bad way, not too sharp, not skunky, but like strong and sharp. I like that. I'm a big coffee lover and I don't usually mix coffee with trees. So this will be like a new kind of thing for me. Okay, Country Blessings. This is fir balsam, cedarwood, whipped cream, and cinnamon. I wanted to get a bunch of ones that I could use in the winter and like around Christmas time. Oh, that's so good. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's like a cinnamon sugar. Plus then you get the fir balsam. I'm obsessed with tree right now. So like anything tree makes me happy. You're getting some of that whipped cream, not too much cedar wood. Wow, that's so pretty. It's a tree, a bakery tree smell. Love that. Okay, I'm here for it. Berry topped waffles, mixed berry compote waffles and whipped cream. I mean, how can you go wrong? Who doesn't love a good berry topped waffle? Yeah, it's exactly what it is. <laughs> it's exactly what it says it is. Mmm. Yeah, it's it's waffles and berries, and it's amazing. Okay, Cabin in the Woods. This is White Pumpkin, Amber, and Fireside. This one was more of like um, a, a wild card for me. I don't know that I love White Pumpkin, but I thought I'd try it. Oh, that's Fiery Smoky. Would love this. Oh, no, I love this. Oh, my gosh. I love a good smoky scent, especially in the wintertime in like the deep, like, you know, like the deepness of winter, end of January, beginning February, it's freezing where I am. It gets to like minus 30 degrees Celsius. It gets freezing cold. And it's like, this is like that. If you were outside at a cottage and it was like the dead of winter and you had a fire going and you could smell that, that fire campfire smoke, but also like you're outside. So maybe you're getting some tree or something. This is what that is. This is smoky, smoky, smoky. This is called Cabin in the Woods. I love that. It says white pumpkin, amber, and fireside. All I'm getting is the fireside with some kind of like fresh outdoorsiness. Love. Sweet on Paris, Bath and Body Works type. Blackberry, lemon, cream, and vanilla butter fudge. Sweet on Paris. I don't order this often, but I do like it. So let's see. Yeah, it's lovely. It's, it's lovely. Mmm, I love that. Okay, good. We Three Kings, Marshmallow Fireside, Blue Sugar, and Palo Santo. 
I was watching um, Summer Michelle and she was commenting on blue sugar and like how different blue sugars are, are different. And then I was also watching Steph, the scented Gem Gemini, and she likes blue sugar too, I think. And she was commenting on that too. And normally I don't order blue sugar because I'm like, it's kind of masculine in my experience, but they were commenting that sometimes it's not. So anyway, I decided, let me try a blue sugar blend and see how it goes. So Marshmallow Fireside, Blue Sugar and Palo Santo. Worst case scenario, I mean, I like Marshmallow Fireside and Palo Santo, so. Oh yeah, this is beautiful. Mmm. This is beautiful. It is masculine. It is masculine, but with the Palo Santo and the Marshmallow Fireside, it's almost like Winter Man. That's what this is. This is Winter Man. I mean, it is mid-January and you're cozying up to your Winter Man. He's probably gained like five or six pounds, you know, because you guys have been nesting. You've been eating all the treats over Christmas, but he's still so sexy, right? It's like, this is him. Mm, yeah, winter man. Mm, I love that. <laughs> I love that. Okay, great. Through the Woods. This is a house blend. It's peppermint sticks, Fraser fur, and sugar cookie. Love peppermint and tree together. Yeah, it's exactly what it says it is. Peppermint. The peppermint is sharp, sharp, sharp. I get a hint of the tree, but not much. I don't get any sugar cookie. The peppermint really takes over. So we'll see when that warms, if the other things come through. But I value peppermint anyways around Christmas, so all good for me. Lego My Eggnog. Pumpkin pecan waffles, pumpkin caramel, and eggnog. Love eggnog. Yeah, it's amazing. It's pumpkin pecan waffles and eggnog. It's great. Harvest funnel cakes. Apples, cranberries, orange peel, funnel cakes, and spice. Oh, oh, that's interesting. Hold on. Apples, cranberries, orange peel, funnel cake, and spice. It smells like not bakery. I thought with the funnel cake, it would be bakery. It doesn't smell bakery. It's like you're getting the orange and cranberry, and it almost smells like an outdoorsy type of smell, but it's not quite Christmas spiced. Like, this is not necessarily Christmas, but it's still kind of like a winter cranberry. Mmm. I gotta see. I don't love this one. There's something interesting, different about it that I wasn't expecting. I don't, I don't love that one. Well, I'll warm that and see how it goes. Strawberry cream roll. This is strawberry, cream, vanilla, and sugar. Let's see. Oh yeah, this is amazing. This is like fresh picked strawberries. Oh wow, this is so good. The strawberry and this is so strong. And it's such a nice strawberry. Oh, I love this. That is like, wow, strong too. Wow, that's a good strawberry. My mouth is watering on that. Okay, toasted monkey pie. This is monkey bread, toasted mallow, and coconut cream pie. Oh, you get the monkey bread right off the top. That's that cinnamon sugar kind of bread smell. You do get some of the coconut cream pie, but it's minimal. It, it's almost like, imagine you took monkey bread and you mixed it with like a... a uh, like a uh, heavy cream or something kind of like a heavy cream mixed in there and a hint of the coconut Min very minimal beautiful love it super rich bakery kind of smell all spruced up sugared spruce cranberry and sugar cookie confection let's see oh you see hold on let me come back to this other one that had the cranberry in it too let me smell these side by side because I think it's the cranberry that's different. Yeah, there's a similar note in both of these. So it must be the cranberry that's just like, it's not quite, it's not quite like a Christmas cranberry. And I, I guess in my mind, I'm expecting it to be. So it's throwing me off a little bit. I do like it. It's, I don't know. Those two are throwing me off a little. That cranberry is throwing me off. Okay, caramel pecan roll. This is salted caramel, toasted pecans, and roasted marshmallow cream. Oh, it's everything. Oh my gosh, it's everything. Oh, you get the pecan. It's like praline-y and like bakery, nutty, and just, oh, so good. So good. Lemon pound cake, vanilla pound cake with a lemon icing drizzle. Oh, that's a nice lemon bakery. The lemon is like, 
It's not floor cleaner, but it is a sharp lemon, but it's not floor cleaner. So I like that. Yeah, really strong lemon, but without leaning floor cleaner. Blueberry cobbler, blueberries, sweet batter, vanilla, cinnamon, and sugar. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't, I can't even. This is so good. It's so strong. It's so blueberry bakery. Oh, that's everything. That's everything for me. I love it. Blue Christmas, balsam cedar, blue sugar, and Palo Santo. Oh, wait, did I not just do that one? Oh, no, I did We Three Kings. Oh, look at me with my blue sugar blends. Okay, the one I already smelled was marshmallow fireside, blue sugar, and Palo Santo. This one is balsam cedar, blue sugar, and Palo Santo. So, okay, we're swapping out the marshmallow fireside for balsam cedar. Oh, yeah. You see, this is Winter Man, too. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, this is Sexy Winter Man. The blue sugar is, is masculine. But with the other, you know, it's not just like a body care cologne type of scent mixed in with the other things. It's Winter Man. Both of these are Winter Man smells. I like those. I'll use those in my bedroom. I'll really enjoy that. Okay, Haunted House Season. Fallen leaves, apples, cloves, and pumpkin pecan waffles. You get that leaves. You get the clove. The clove is, is like pretty strong. You get the pumpkin pecan waffles, but it's in the background. This is not so much a bakery. It's more like an outdoorsy fall, crisp fall day, fall air kind of smell with a hint of the pumpkin pecan waffles. Yeah, I like that. Very fall day, like very now. I'm going to set that one aside and probably warm that one sooner than later. Orange almond scone. This is fluffy scones with almonds, orange zest, and orange glaze. Oh my gosh. It's so good. Yeah, this is everything that I love and adore. Oh, it's so almondy. It's so orangey. That's beautiful. Love, love, love. And the last one is Homer's Habit. This is powdered donut, sugar cookie, sugar waffle cone, and cronut. And I guess Homer, they mean the Simpsons, right? Okay. Oh, that's so good. Oh no, I love this. Ooh, you know what this reminds me of? What is it? Powdered donut, sugar cookie, sugar waffle cone, and cronut. This is so nice. Wow. I'm getting the powdered sugar or something. Powdered donut. I'm getting it. This is so nice. Wow. It's almost more like a bedroom bakery kind of smell. I wouldn't put this in my open concept. It gives me um, Cabbage Patch Face vibes. You know, that that good vanilla kind of smell that a Cabbage Patch Face has. It gives me those vibes, but then mixed with the powdered donuts for sure and some kind of like vanilla. Oh, I love this. Yeah, this is going to be a bedroom melt for me. It's Cabbage Patch Doll vibes mixed with bakery. Okay. Um, boom, that is my haul from Kay's. Super excited for this. I can't wait to start melting some of my customs. If you've done customs with Kay's or anybody really, what's one of your favorite customs that you've done? Put that in the comments for me um, because my intention is most definitely to order again from Kay's in the new year and do a bunch more customs because I really like the blending, looking through all the scent notes and then smelling it after. I'm like, oh my gosh, these are so good. I'm so good at this. So um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do next time is I'm just going to do a bunch of customs. So let me know if you have any great custom blends that you love or ones that you know that I'm going to love, like some good bakery ones. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'll catch you guys in the next one.